Next question. So it would be fair to say that you were drinking. Yes. Would it be fair to say that you were a little intoxicated? I was not. Uh, how much did you drink that day? One of the Mike's Heart Alcohol beverage. And around what time of the day was that? I don't remember. Was it um, shortly before meeting up with the alleged defendant or was it sometime before? It was before. Did you have anything to drink after? No, I did not. Um, you stated that you were engaging in a conversation with the alleged defendant uh, via the telephone. Would that be fair to say? Yes. Texas phone calls? Yes. Um, Were those texts and phone calls of what what nature were they of? Me and Mr. Brooks were arguing throughout the day. In the texts and phone calls? Yes, we were. Um, if there were, uh, if the conversation was argumentative, why would you agree to meet up with the alleged defendant? I do not know. Do you recall how the the media was supposed to be set up? I don't recall. Did you at any time ask the alleged defendant to meet up with you? Well, I told Mr. Brooks where I was. Did you at any time ask to meet up with the alleged defendant? No, I did not. So it would be fair to say that the alleged defendant just came where you were? Yes, I told you where we were. And obviously, we were gonna hang out. I never told Mr. Brooks to hang out with me. I told him where we were. So why would, if there was an argumentative conversation prior to you meeting up with the alleged defendant, why would you tell the alleged defendant where you were. Objection to ask the answer. Sustained. You just stated that you really don't know the city of Waukesha. Would that be fair to say? Yes. So how would you know exactly where you were? Because I was with Corey and she's familiar with this area. Would it be fair to say that Corey overheard these conversations between you and the alleged defendant? Yes, she was my roommate. She heard every conversation almost. When you say every conversation, what would that when refer she, to? When she was in the room with me, when I was always talking to Mr. Brooks on the phone, she would hear the conversations. She heard me and Mr. Brooks, me, Erica Patterson, and Mr. Brooks arguing the day of the parade earlier before we left. So it would be fair to say that you were engaged in conversation with the alleged defendant before you even left the women's shelter? Yes. And those argumentative conversations continue into your hanging out? Yes. Would it be fair to say that that's what led you to drink? No. Would it be fair to say you were drinking because that's what you wanted to do? Yes. Is it true that one of the rules and requirements of being at the women's shelter is no drugs and no alcohol? Would that be fair to say? Yes, but when I was drinking, it was at Frame Park. I was not at the women's shelter. Would it be fair to say that you knew you had to come back into the women's shelter at some point that day, that they have a curfew? Yes, and I made it before curfew. Let me back up a little bit. You did state that part of the rules and requirements for being in the women's shelter is no drugs and no, no alcohol, correct? Yes, it was not in the women's shelter. That's not what I'm asking. 
is part of the requirement and rules of the women's shelter, no drugs, no alcohol. Yes. Sustained. Next question, Mr. Brooks. Do, is there any type of drug and alcohol testing at the women's shelter? I don't know, no. No, or you don't know? I don't know. Would it be fair to say that if it was found that you were engaging in drugs and alcohol that you might have lost your place at the women's shelter? I'll object. I don't see how this is going. Sustained. Next question. So around what time were you hanging out with... Uh, Miss Corey, you said? What? I don't remember. Do you remember where you were at? Frame Park. Do you remember where in Frame Park? No. And approximately at what time did you meet up with the alleged defendant? I don't remember. Um, how long were you... Um, with the alleged defendant. Do you remember that? Approximately 30, 35 minutes. Do you recall what, uh, well, you, you said that during this time you were with the alleged defendant that there was a arguing going on. Would that be fair to say? Yes. Do you remember what that argument was about? He was arguing with me about money because I did not bail him out. You also said that um, well, let me back up from that a little bit. If you knew that the, the conversation was becoming volatile, why did you still meet up with the alleged defendant? I don't know. To your knowledge, did the alleged defendant know anything about the city of Waukesha? Yes. And what did the de alleged defendant know about Waukesha? He told me, Mr. Brooks told me that his first child's mother lives in Waukesha. Do you know that? That's what Mr. Brooks told me. Were you, are you aware that uh, the alleged defendant, in fact, has no uh, mother of any child that lives in the city of Waukesha. Objection. If Mr. Brooks wants to testify, he should do so in a different stage of the trial. Sustained. We don't need to answer that. Yes, ma'am. Other than what you can recall about what the alleged defendant told you that they knew about Waukesha, um, how did the alleged defendant meet up with you in the location that you gave? He already, Mr. Brooks already knew where Frame Park was. Mr. Brooks previously had been to Waukesha plenty of times before. He's told me that. And when, when was that told to you and what conversation? Was it that day? Before that. I'm not sure which day it was. I just know he knows about Waukesha. So, would it be fair to say that when you told the alleged defendant where you were, that the alleged defendant knew exactly where you were? Yes. And how would the alleged defendant know that? Because Mr. Brooks already knew Waukesha. He knew exactly where to go. Did you at any time give directions where you may have been? How could I give directions when I barely knew Waukesha myself? Is that a no? That's a no, sorry. That's okay, thank you. So, if you barely knew Waukesha yourself, where did you get the information of where you were from, where you, where you were at? I at the time of the conversation, via telephone. I left the women's shelter with Corey and she knows that location. 
She told me what Frank Park was. I didn't know the name. And you, would it be fair to say, the summary from what you just said, that you were with the alleged defendant for approximately around 30 minutes or so? Yes. And during that time, did you make uh, any disparaging remarks or anything to entice the argument to escalate? No. So you didn't say anything at all during your 30 minutes with the alleged defendant? No, because I was crying the whole time because Mr. Brooks was yelling at me, arguing with me. So you said absolutely nothing at all? I was crying the whole time. Did you say anything? No. Um, a few more questions. You, you said that uh, during this, well, once you had got out of the vehicle, as you say, um, you stated that uh, your friend, Miss Corey, pulled you away from the vehicle because it swerved? Yes, it was in the video. You do know that we just saw the video. Would that be fair to say? Yes, but there's two angles of the video. Well, we only saw one, so I'm referring to the yes, video that we saw. Corey pulled me out the way when Mr. Brooks made a U-turn and you almost swerved into Miss Patterson, which is me. Would it be fair to say that the video does not show that? There's different angles, but the video does not show that, the video we watched. So the video that we just watched, that the jury just saw, there is no uh, swerving of the vehicle and you being pulled back. Would that be fair to From say? From that far angle, you can kind of see it. Yes. Would that be fair to say? The you answered the question, Mr. Brooks. Next question. Under 906.11 sub 1 sub C, I direct your attention to that next question. Do you recall what was said during the uh, the altercation between uh, uh, was it is it Miss Corey and the alleged defendant? No, I don't remember. Would it be fair to say that you were standing right there? Yes, I just don't remember what was being said. Do you recall reporting anything that may have been said during that incident? No. Did you give a statement to anything that may have been said again, uh, during that incident? No. Was anything directed towards you verbally in that incident? Yes. Corey told, said, told Mr. Brooks, don't ever hit my effing friend again. I remember that part, that was in the beginning. Do you remember anything else that may have been said? No. Do you recall anything being said by uh, Nick to the alleged defendant? No. Do you recall the alleged defendant saying anything to Nick? No, I don't remember. You also stated that um, right after this incident, you um, talked to law enforcement. Would that be fair to say? Yes. At any time, did you report any any abuse? Yes. And what did you report? That you hit me. <coughs> and you gave a statement to that effect? No, not to that police officer, but the detectives at the women's shelter. Well, I'm referring to right during, well, oh, I don't remember. after the incident. I don't remember what I told 
that op police officer. Just one quick second, I'm reading from the statement, if I may. You may. Do you remember what was said by the alleged defendant when that incident ended? No, I do not remember. Do you remember uh, reporting in your statement that the last thing he said to me was F U B, erase my number? Do you remember that? I don't remember. Would it be fair to say that you reported that this was said? I don't remember. Do you remember giving a statement to that effect? No. Would it be fair to say that you gave a statement? No, I don't remember. I gave a statement to the detectives at the Women's Center. So That's would it I be remember. fair? I'm sorry, I, I didn't know if We've done answer. Yes. All right, next question. Would, would it be fair to say that your memory is kind of cloudy of that day because you were intoxicated? No. There's a, there's a lot of things in this statement that you don't seem to remember. Is that fair to say? <coughs> Sustained. Next question. Would it be fair to say that you reported two different incidents? Yes. Um, do you remember the dates of those incidents that you reported? The 20th and the 21st. Would it be fair to say that there was no incident on the 20th? No. Would it be fair to say that you were initially not truthful with law enforcement? No. Do you recall uh, making a statement to law enforcement on uh, November the 22nd of 2021? I don't remember. I made this statement on the 21st of the day of the parade when I met the detectives that night. Do you recall making a second statement the next day? Or the next morning, rather, which would have been the 22nd of November 2021? Um, yes, I did, actually. Yes, I did. Do you recall what you reported that day? I told them about the 20th when I met with Mr. Brooks and all we did was argue and you hit me then too. So you reported incidents for two days in a row? Yes. Do you recall um, at any time telling law enforcement that you were not truthful and wanted to be truthful at that point? No. So you never made a statement to, to your knowledge that you fabricated a reported abuse incident? No. One second, Your I'm reading from that. To the best of your knowledge, do you remember talking with a detective? Bur I'm not, I don't want to butcher this name, Your Honor. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. You can spell it if that's helpful. Uh, a detective, uh, B E H. R E N D T. Detective Barron. Is 
a detective or an officer? Uh, it says detective, Your Honor. Okay, ask your question. Um, do you remember speaking with that detective? Yes. Do you remember what you reported to that detective? I don't remember. Um, I'm reading directly from the statement, Your Honor, if I may. Ask your question. Do you remember reporting to that detective saying you were not completely forthright with all of the information that you had given because you were afraid of you were afraid to get other people involved in your drama or your business i don't remember that and i'll object and move to strike based on the fact that i think i'm safe in saying that that is not from the report which the defendant is referring to the objection is sustained. I'll move, I'll uh, grant the motion to strike by the state uh, of the question and any response that may have been elicited before I address the objection. Your Honor, quick question on that. I'm, I'm reading directly from the report. time uh, speaking with uh, Officer Guth? Yes. And do you recall on what date that was? Um, November 21st. Do you remember what you reported on November the 21st? That me and Mr. Brooks, I, went, I met with Mr. Brooks at Frame Park me and Mr. Brooks got into an altercation. You hit me. I jumped out of your car and I walked and met my friend Corey. You followed me. And then after that, Nick and Miss Corey, they called the police officer. And then you drove off. Just one second, Ryan. Do you recall reporting to Officer Guth that you were not completely forthright with the information that you reported? I don't remember. And no, actually, no, I did not say that. I apologize. So reading from what was reported to Officer Guth states that what I learned from Erica Patterson was that when I spoke to her on the previous evening with Officer Barrett, uh, was that the pronunciation, Your Honor? I'm sorry. I don't have it in front of me. I'm not sure. She was not completely forthright with all of the information she had given. Would that be fair to say? What was your question? Do you recall in your reporting to Officer Guth mm -hmm. that you were not forthright with the information that you gave? No, I don't recall that. So to the best of your recollection, 
at any time that you reported incidents to any law enforcement, at any time, do you recall being untruthful? No. So do you remember, uh, do you remember the date and time of the first incident that you allege? I don't remember the time, but it was November 20th. Do you remember what time of day that may have been? I just said I don't remember. Do you remember where you were at? Frame Park. So would it be fair to say that both alleged incidents that you are alleging happened at Frame Park? The second incident on November 21st did not happen on Frame Park. We were driving around and he hit me. What the I'm asking incident. is where you were at when you met him. Frame Park, yes. On That's both, not what you on both just alleged said. Occasions. Yes. That's how Mr. Brooks knew where Frame Park is. He already knew Waukesha area in the first place. Same park? Yes. Do you remember where you were at during the, in Frame Park? No, it was in the parking lot, the first side of the parking lot, kind of by the baseball field, I think that is. If that do is you, the baseball field. Do you recall who you were with? Nobody. I was with Corey on November 21st, and the first day on um, November 20th, I was by myself. So it would be fair to say that you went to to the park alone? Yes. I met up with Mr. Brooks on, intentionally on the 20th. Yes. Were you drinking that day? No. And how did you know how to get to Frank Park, as you call it? I knew how to get to Frank Park because I'd been the previous times before that with Miss Corey, walking past it. I knew how to get there because Corey walked with me that day too. I just was not with her. She walked towards there with me. And so then you separated? Yes. Did you separate from uh, Miss Corey at any time during the 21st? Yes, I did. She left with Nick and I was with Mr. Daryl Brooks. Do you recall to the best of your knowledge that it may have been someone else that she was with, that was with you that day? She was by, her, which day? Are you clarifying? Which day? Um, November the 21st of 2020. She was with Nick that day. The entire day? Yes. And you guys separated from that point? Yes. Would it be fair to say you guys separated after hanging out and drinking? Mr. Brooks, under 906.11, sub 1, sub C, you need to move on to a new topic. We've, you've been over this multiple times. It's been asked, it's been answered, and now it's under my authority under 906.11, sub 1, sub, e, sub C, you need to move on. So to the best of your knowledge, well, let me back up. How did you communicate with the alleged defendant on November 20th of 2021? Phone calls. Um, strictly phone calls, Texas? Both. Mostly phone calls. Do you remember what was said in those Texas and phone Same calls? Same conversation we had on the 21st. He was mad because I wasn't giving him money. I'm not bailing him out. So why would you meet up with the alleged defendant that day? Because I just wanted to. We have a 15-year-old together. I mean, I, I was not always going to talk to you then. Do you remember if there was uh, any agreed upon meeting up that day? Yes. By you, by the alleged defendant? Both. Uh, do you remember the reason why you were meeting up? I just said why. So it would be just to conversate? To just to conversate. 
would it be fair to say that you could have communicated strictly by the phone? Yes. Under 906, 11 sub 1 sub C, the objection is sustained. Next topic, if you have one, Mr. Brooks. You said that you came to Wisconsin from uh, another state. Would that be fair to say? Atlanta, Georgia, yes. June 13, 2021. Why did you leave Georgia? We were coming out here for two weeks and I never went back. Um, can you state why you never went back? Number one, I came out here, I didn't have money. Number two, I had no way to get back. And you were always, uh, Mr. Brooks was always physical. So at any time were you ever, um, offered money to go back to Georgia or did anybody at any time no. ever no did anybody at any time ever uh, <coughs> lend any help to help you go back to Georgia no did you to the best of your regulation did you want to go back to Georgia sustained next question please So why didn't you file a report with law enforcement uh, of no, on November the 20th after you alleged that you were abused? Because I've been dealing with it for so many years, I just didn't do it. So, I don't see what this has anything to do with this case. How, how long have you known the alleged defendant again? Since I was 15. I'm 32 now. Would it be fair to say that um, you lived in different states from the alleged defendant? Yes, but I... Oh, I'm sorry, I thought there was... I was going to object and ask for a clarification on the timeline there. I'll sustain the objection, rephrase the question. I'll, I was going to get to that, Your Honor. Would it be fair to say that during the duration of the time, knowing the alleged defendant, that the majority of that time you did not live in the same area or state? Yeah, off, yes, off and on. I met Mr. Brooks in Reno, Nevada. I moved out of Reno, Nevada in 2017 to Atlanta, Georgia. I moved Mr. Brooks throughout. I've known him throughout with back and forth, off and on. The whole, si the whole 16 years, me, me and Mr. Brooks are not together, but it was off and on. Did you guys live in the same area off and on during that time? Objection. I, sustained. Out of the 16 years, you say it was, correct? Yes, off and on, on, Mr. Brooks. How much of that, of that time did you actually spend with the alleged defendant? Objection, always. Sustained. Also under 906.11, sub 1, sub C. Move on. At the time of this alleged incident, were you and the uh, alleged defendant in any kind of relationship? Yes. And were you a couple? Were you just co-parenting? or we What was the nature of the relationship is basically? We were happened. together. I wouldn't have came to Milwaukee, Wisconsin if I was not with him. So it would be fair to say that you were in a committed relationship? Yes. One second, I'm just going over something. Would it be fair to say? Um, I'm 
I'm sorry. I didn't Go ahead. No. There was a water bottle being provided. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. How did, how did, uh, before you came back into contact with the alleged defendant, how long had it been since you had seen the alleged defendant? I don't know, but it's years, a couple years. So it would be, it would be fair to say that there was a significant gap in between interactions with the alleged defendant. Yes. Um, Sustained, however, she provided the answer. It may stand. Next question. So during your time, uh, well, approximately how long were you uh, staying around the alleged defendant before this incident on November 21st took place? I don't know the exact time. I just answered your question on the exact time. Um, were there uh, any separations or gaps during that time? Objection relevance. Sustained. time uh, during these alleged incidents were you with uh, someone other than Miss Corey? Corey and Nick the day of the 21st and then we separated and I met back up with them. Any time during that day were you with anyone else besides those two that you just named? Mr. Brooks, you. What about the alleged incident on the 20. I left with Miss Corey and then she went a whole di different direction and I went to Frame Park and met up with Mr. Brooks. So, to the best of your recollection, you were not drinking on um, both of those days that you cite the 20th or the 21st. The 20th. Hold on. Mr. Brooks, under 90611, I'm stopping this cross-examination. You've asked the same question, uh, multiple questions, multiple times. Um, and at this point, I'm going to declare that I didn't, I didn't the opportunity know. to cross is now concluded. I didn't know that was the same question, Your Honor. Mr. Brooks, it's been asked and answered multiple times. So with that, to I'm going to turn to the state to see if they have any redirect. Some brief clarification. Go ahead. 